All right, the next step downstairs here is to put the ceiling up. We painted these boards probably two months ago, and then we focused on the backyard, and summer's almost over, so we're back here again. But the next thing before we put that up is we want to add a ceiling fan here. Now, electric is taken care of, but I need to provide a box. And so I went to my local Home Depot and I got one of these fan support boxes. And this one is for remodel. They have them for remodel and they also have them for new construction. But this is for remodel. So this should be able to go up through that hole right there. And I shouldn't have to cut anything bigger as if that was the finished ceiling. Now, obviously because I'm covering it, I could cut the hole bigger and do something else, but I really have always wondered how these things work, so I'm gonna show you how to use it today. Once upon a time, a boy met a girl working for a mouse. They fell in love and realized they'd never own their own home working for the mouse. So they packed up a big truck and moved to New Jersey, lived in a basement to save money for a year, and bought a foreclosure to fix up while they lived there. This is their story. Now you can see I have the wire already here and ready to go. And this wire is the same as the lighting circuit. And I know that because I traced the wire from over there through the ceiling down to that side. And I did that in another video, which I will link up there. And these are like a, a 10 millimeter lock nut. So I'm just taking them off to get it started. Okay, and the bracket comes off too. And what we're left with is this thing. Now this is designed to fit up in that four inch hole and it has a heavy duty thread on it. So you just put it up there and then you turn it to expand it. And you make it as tight as you can and it's got these spikes that dig into the wood on both sides. Now you can put this either in this orientation or this orientation. It has to go the opposite of whatever your joists are in the ceiling, so. Now I use the stud finder to mark where my ceiling joists are. There's one here and there's one here. And I could feel that by putting my hand in as well. So if the joists were running in the opposite direction, no big deal, I would mark where they are. And if you had a joist right where you want to put the box, you actually have some easier choices. There are some fan boxes that you can attach to a joist. But here, I'm in the middle of a stud cavity. You can see I, I centered this between these lights. That's what those, I snapped those chalk lines and did my best approximation. But that's where it's gonna go. That bar is gonna go from joist to joist. So it's gonna go in this orientation. All right, perpendicular to the joists. All right, with the power off, I can take these temporary Wago lever nuts off. They're much easier to work with than uh, wire nuts. And these are gonna go in the box, but at least this way I can get the wire out of the way while I'm working. To expand is gonna go to the right there, okay. It's a little hard to see the orientation of the joists because of the camera angle, so let me pop them up here for you. The brace is installed between two joists and the box gets attached to it. You'll see me do that in a second, but I'm running into a problem here because that cavity is a little bit tight because I've got two joists on that one side. Oh baby, it might be in trouble. It might be in trouble here. Just makes it. Wow. I think there's a double joist here, and so this cavity is not actually 16 inches. So that may be why it's tight. Wow, it's like I don't even need to tighten it. And, and you know what? I don't even know that you have to go too tight because if you use a wrench to really tighten it, you could wind up pushing the joints. Yeah, and, the... And yeah. So 
I mean, this thing is tight. Of course, it's, it was tight to begin with, and you keep spinning. Right. Well, what it's doing is it's digging those claws yeah. into the wood. Yeah, that's about as far as it's going to go. Just give me the wrench, and I'll just. See, that's probably good enough. And yeah, you just want the bar flat, and we'll know when we put this on. How flat it is. Of course, I have to fit the uh, the wires up in here. So that's the next step: is I have to put the the grommet in here and bring those wires through. Now the kit comes with a grommet like this, which I would say is fine for pulling one wire through, but because I'm going to do two, I'm going to put a metal one on here. And that's all it took. Alright, that's good and tight. One more thing, it needs a ground screw. They provide that in the box. So I'm just gonna put the ground screw over here too. Sorry, my fat fingers are in the way. Ground screw, right here. Green for ground, right Josh? Yes sir. Okay. All right, first things first, gotta push the wires through. Now the power is off. Now leave a comment if you see my mistake before I point it out. Be honest, leave a comment. That's good, now. Yeah. Yeah, we have this thing. This bracket goes over the top. There we go, and then, I don't know if I did this right. I should have probably brought the wires from both sides. Ah. All right, did you guess right? Leave a comment. Redo. All right, what I've done is I brought the wires both on the same side. Did that wrong to begin with. And I also turned this a little bit so that because the, the bracket in there is gonna go across this way. So that's what I'm gonna try and get that up now. Like that. Okay, the nut. Big fat fingers. All right, you know what? Give me the, whoops, give me the socket. Let's try this. Let's try this instead. Put the nut in there. Okay. Good and tight. All right. There we go. Now, that is rated for something like a 50 pound fan, which I've never had a fan that heavy. So, there you go. That is how. We install a ceiling fan mount, ready to go. All right, I put my temporary wires back with my wire nuts. Those are the Wago lever nuts, which I just love because they're temporary. I'll take them off and I'll put the fan up later. We don't even have a fan yet, do we? Not yet. All right, well, we'll have to buy a fan, but that's not needed right now. I know the ground is not attached yet, but it will be when I go to put the fan in. But it's good enough for now for us to put the ceiling up. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe and keep watching The Living Flip. And uh, you'll see us put the ceiling fan up in a future episode. Thanks for watching.